Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Will Motivation back with another video and today we are talking about the maintenance costs on a Lamborghini and specifically while we are going to drive YOLO, my Lamborghini Aventador SV, we're actually talking about the maintenance costs on my Lamborghini Huracan supercharged by VF Engineer. So this is my Lamborghini Aventador SV, affectionately known as YOLO. Um, first things first, we're gonna drive this over to the shop. The shop is the Toy Barn here in Central Ohio in uh, the Dublin area. Uh, the reason why we're gonna take this one is because we have a new exhaust for it that I have in my work truck. Shout out to Hamza who's coming through to help me out. Just gonna drive the work truck over there. I got a brand new exhaust. Yes, yeah, under wraps right there. Got some rims for the Ferrari. We're gonna change out the rims on the Ferrari because I'm getting ready to sell it. But we're gonna take this car over to the toy barn to get the exhaust swapped out. It's a brilliant exhaust. Uh, crazy high pitch, loud exhaust, so stay tuned for that. But So we're gonna drop this one off to get that done. And also, um, there was a check engine light that I had to fix on the Aventador because the battery died and I had to clear uh, a low battery air coat. So we're gonna get that done. Take the exhaust over there, and we're gonna pick up the Huracan. All right, so let's go ahead and start this thing up. Yeah, buddy. Toy Barn here with the Aventador and uh, we're gonna pick up the the Huracan so um, shout out to Brian he's about to throw the exhaust on the Huracan so we're gonna have a four tip exhaust right now we got a two tip actually the two tip grew on me a little bit so this is like this the signature exhaust for the um, the brilliant exhaust out of Japan is the two tip so it actually kind of grew on me um, but I ordered a four tip, so they sent me the right one. And uh, now we're gonna be the brilliant brothers with me and Dr. SV, cause he's gonna take this one. So shout out to Dr. SV. Sure. All right, we got Hamza here with his mask on. Oh, you got the Will Motivation shirt on, show him the shirt, man. Try to represent. If y'all wanna order one of them shirts, get at willmotivation.com. Yes, sir. We'll get yes, you one, sir. you know what I'm saying? So um, we got the Huracan back. For those of you guys that have seen this for the first time, this is my satin red, Huracan 610-4. You want you want to be the cameraman? Sure. All right, so we're going to talk about the expenses on getting this car serviced. So I actually got more done than expected because I actually, I'm getting this car ready to sell because I have a new uh, Huracan um, Evo rear-wheel drive on order. So I want the next owner to be happy with this car. So I did all the service for it, you know what I'm saying? So not only the oil change, all the fluids and everything, and brand new tires I put on it as well. So I'm gonna give you guys the exact amount uh, line by line so you can know, you know how much it costs. Now, there is a way to get some of this stuff done cheaper if you wanna go shopping around and spend the time like finding the best price online for, for the tires and that kind of thing. But these guys do do good work for me, you know what I'm saying? So I let them do the work and I just pay them to do the work for me. You know what I'm saying? They make a little profit, my car gets done right, and everybody's happy. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna talk about that once I get home. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's good to go. Got the brand new tire. Gas this thing up, get it back to the crib, and then we're gonna go over the pricing uh, line by line. 
Yes, sir. Ready? Hey, shout out to Hamza. You got anything you want to shout out? Black market and stuff. I'm selling this <laughs> Man, watch out. All right, shout out. Check out his Instagram. Follow me at Exotics of Ohio. Follow him at Exotics of Ohio. He's going to have the latest and greatest. You know what I'm talking about? So. It's exclusive. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, we're gonna tell you all the cost of the service tonight, even though it's dark. But we did a, we got some pizza on the way, way home, man. So shout out to Stad's Pizza. That, look at that. You could tell by looking at it, it's good. He got the, uh, what's it called? Chicken? Chicken, I forget. Chicken something pizza, though. It's almost like a chicken cheesesteak pizza. Mm -hmm. But it's got green peppers on it, man. Them don't stink. Better than that. You crazy. This is this is that uh, pepperoni and cheese. But like, you could, you could look at it and tell it's good. Put a little crushed pepper on it, smash. All right, Hamza said, <laughs> he trying to fix his pizza. <laughs> I gotta make it look presentable. He said, which one looks better, like it tastes better? Tell him. The chicken, onions, and green peppers, and uh, or the pepperoni and cheese with extra cheese. A plain pepperoni pizza. Plain? That's, this is gourmet. <laughs> or this. All right, y'all drop a comment, which one's better, which one's better? Yeah. If his is better, then I pay for his food next time. Mine is better. He's buying me one next time. Okay, so let's finish up the second half of this video where we're going to go over the maintenance costs on my 2015 Lamborghini Huracan supercharged by VF Engineering. And uh, now, this is, I think these costs are normal, maybe a little bit less than if I went to the Lamborghini dealership um, and probably about average of what you would pay if you take it to an exotic performance um, shop somewhere, you know, where, wherever you are. So, <clears throat> so I think these uh, prices are, are probably what you would expect uh, to pay for your maintenance. All right, so I'm gonna tell you everything that I got done. Then I'm gonna tell you how much all of those things cost, um, you know, individually, so that you have an idea of the annual service. So this is an annual service. Um, and I got, you know, new tires and stuff too. So here's, here's everything that I got done. All right, so this is a three-year maintenance um, that include an oil change, topping off all the fluids, um, resetting the check service light, um, also changing the cabin filters, the uh, air filters, cleaning them because um, they're K&N, so I didn't have to replace them, um, brake fluid flush, and uh, of course, replenish and changing out the spark plugs. So one thing when you have a supercharged car, you have to change out the spark plugs more often than if the car is not supercharged, all right? So the oil change was, let's see, about $1,076. Um, um, the oil filter was just 30 bucks. Um, uh, washer fluid, $10. Brake fluid, $40. Spark plugs for $10, $350. And the cabin filter was $102. So that was the first part of the service. Then, um, then let's see what else. I got two tires, um, two brand new tires for the back of the car. Um, Pirelli P0s, 440 bucks a piece. So that was 880 bucks. Then I had to get them mounted and balanced, which was $100. And then um, I got a four wheel alignment, and that was 400 bucks on my Lamborghini Huracan. And so the grand total was $3,244 to do the three year maintenance on my Lamborghini Huracan, uh, and, but now it's good to go. Now, normally, in a normal situation, if it was a one-year maintenance, all you would need would be the oil change and the filters, and so your, your annual service would be around $1,000, or maybe a little bit more, or a little bit less, all right? So that would be normal, but because I changed the tires, and I had to get new spark plugs, and top off all the fluids and all that good stuff, it was a little bit more than that, so, um, so it came out to $3,200, all right? So that's to give you an idea of the uh, three-year maintenance on a Lamborghini Huracan 610-4 all-wheel drive. Um, if you're wondering, 
Am I still going to sell this car? Yes, I am still going to sell it. Um, I think the market value on this car is about 250000 maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So I have somebody interested in buying it, um, but we'll see what happens. I haven't received a deposit, so it is still for sale. So if somebody comes up with the money and you want to supercharge the uh, Lamborghini Huracan that's in excellent condition and it's protected with an Avery satin chrome red wrap, then maybe this could be your car. Um, now, what am I going to do when I sell this car? I have a 2022 Lamborghini Huracan um, Evo rear wheel drive that's coming in um, hopefully sometime this year. Uh, I'm guessing in the fall I'll probably have it. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited about my new my new Huracan. But for all you guys that are wondering, is the Lamborghini Huracan a good car to buy? Um, it's an excellent car. I think this is the most reliable supercar that has ever been made by any manufacturer. Um, if you think differently, drop a comment. If you have a Huracan and you agree, drop a comment so people know. Um, but this car has been super reliable. Even with the supercharger on it, um, I haven't had any problems with it. The only thing with the supercharger is you have to make sure you put good gas in the vehicle. Because one time I got some bad gas in the car in Canada when I was on that Ace of Spades rally and the car started acting real funny with the bad gas. Um, so you got to be careful of that. Um, but that's probably with any supercar you want to put good gas in it. But yeah, be careful where you get gas, especially in Canada. All right, so there you have it, guys. If you have any questions on the service maintenance of a Lamborghini Huracan or ownership of a Lamborghini Huracan, make sure to drop me a comment and let me know. But I hope this video was informative and uh, you enjoyed the content. Take care. It's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm here to tell you guys to go to Wheel Motivation. The exotic cars is crazy. I've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing. But we need everybody else to subscribe to Wheel Motivation and support Wheel. I'm supporting them. You do the same.